Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Today we'll be heading to the Obani Gemini. We will to the Obani Moons at Obani Gemini. Okay, so you... The first thing you will not know is you'll need the refractor to repair the satellite laser link, and if you press select, you get a full you get a full view of the map. It is a moon. Now those flat asteroids are part of a skill point called Get to the Belt. I have never gotten that skill point, not even when I was younger. It's pretty much impossible. I'll probably show it off in an extra video, but actually I will not. But basically that's what that is. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm trying to fail the refractor. Alright. First thing you want to do, light up this thing. Now the only enemies you will encounter in the, this, the first part of Obani Gemini are scout bots. Let's see, you'll find a satellite right there. You want to go over here to the next one. Yeah, the scout bots will chase after you, by the way. You hear them? I recommend putting up the Tesla barrier just in case so they don't attack you while you're off, you're, you're off guard. That's that one. Well, um, because there is another moon after this one. Also, notice Rapid's not wearing a helmet. He's not wearing his full helmet, his full covered helmet like he did in Up in Going Commando. Apparently, Obani Moon, the moon, Obani Gemini's atmosphere is breathable. I think that is the planet Obani in the background. That is a moon. That is the planet itself. We're on the moon. Got that one. It's basically like any refractor puzzle. Yeah, the scout bots will chase after you this entire level. Just ignore them. If you have the Tesla Barrier or the Shield Charter, there will be no threat on your second playthrough. Forgot to mention, wrench damage is determined by your nanotech level. So if you have max nanotech, you can max damage with the wrench. Last this satellite, then there's another one over here. This is the last one. Yep, that's the one, that's the force field you have to go to next. So where do you have to go for this next one? I think you have to go up here if I'm not mistaken. You go here, zap this one, and then your your way is through. You got you have your way through. Luckily, I have the refractor out, so I don't have to worry about it. You can just jump over here. Whoa, I barely made that one. Normally, I'd make that jump. Anyways, once you go through this portal... Welcome to Obani Gemini Pollux, the second moon. This area is strictly combat only. Take out... You won't need your refractor anymore. Just take out whatever gun you with it and rock with it. These enemies will shoot like a shockwave towards you. Now be careful here because there are guard bots here as well. There are more scout bots, just zap them that way. You can actually shoot that large satellite in the background. Right here, a guard bot should pop up. 
Actually, it's right here. A guard bot should pop up. There it is. Oh yeah, that thing shoots at you, by the way. Does it shoot at you? Oh, I thought that thing shoots at you, so, but if you shoot at it, it just blows it up. So jump down the zip line down here. Bunch of scout bots are meeting me here, and then there's these enemies. I got hit. Here's another jump pad right here. You don't have to deal with this guard bot if you don't want to, but I'm gonna just deal kill him anyway. Cause fuck him. Alright. Want to jump up here? Oh yeah, that guy also pops up. Cover me! Oh, man down! It's alright, Skid. The fight's over. Yes! I mean, no. That blows, man. I would have been here sooner, but I, uh, I encountered some heavy-duty resistance. Enemy troops? Well, uh, not exactly. The drive through a Galaxy Burger was wicked slow, and... Anyway, looks like that last moon is surrounded by an Omega-class disintegration field. Whatever's going on out there, it can't be good. If I had the right tools, I could hack into that generator and shut the field down. Hey, lucky for you dudes, I brought this. Stand back, bro. I'm like a trained professional and stuff. Don't try this at home. Oh, man, it's busted. Oh, wait, never mind. Incoming call from the Galactic Rangers. Sarge, Blackwater City is under attack! The noise came out of nowhere. The situation is extremely, uh, it's, um, uh, well, we're pretty much hosed, sir. Run for your lives! Ah! Requesting immediate assistance! Whoa! I guess I'll be canceling that hoverboard trip to Blackwater City. The Rangers need our help. Let's go! Uh, I'll, like, catch up with you guys? I think this lock is gonna take a while. Okay, give us a call if anything comes up. Alright, so now we got the coordinates for Blackwater City, Planet Rildar. Remember that from the first game? Oh yeah, I forgot this guard bot will keep shooting at you. But luckily, we are done with the body, Gemini, but since this part is running short, I'm actually gonna head to Annihilation Nation and show it off there. So we're gonna do that mission next part, actually. I think we could cover it in this part, too, but if we're quick enough. Anyways, we'll meet with Courtney Gears in Annihilation Nation. We'll head there now. And no, there's no leaving animation for Obani Gemini. Yeah, and I completed all of the other challenges that were available at the time were all, uh, I, done, I did them all off screen. Now we have Meet with Courtly Gauntlet. Battle through the... Keep your Tesla barrier on at all times. It's a switch to hit. To the right. 
watch out. Also note that the second time around, once you complete that, the the enemies in the Annihilation Nation will get a color palette change, but basically they're just a little stronger. I think it's just a slight, a darker color palette change, basically. The walk out here, this is the first time we encounter this enemy, and this is the only time it's two times it shows up. This is a tank bomb. You want to destroy him from the distance because they have two attacks. They have one where they shoot a rocket at you from a distance, and then if you're up close, they'll shoot a they'll shoot the flamethrower. Hit this switch. Go to the left. Ninja bot suddenly show up. Hit this switch. To the right. And we're getting close to the end. Alright, so now we are heading to, uh, that is the end of the gauntlet. Now we head to the arena, the duel. Scorpio. Just up a little off the top. He is big, he's bad, and he's definitely not worth dying to see Scorpio. At least according to the unused dialogue. What's interesting is that Scorpio has dialogue, but in his normal challenge, it's bugs. He doesn't, like, there's no audio being played here. Not much to say about him. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand for Ratchet and Clank! We'll take home a rare first edition Quark video comic! And here to present the grand prize, the incredible, incomparable, intalented, Courtney Gears! If we play this right, she'll lead us right to Dr. Nefarious. Better let me do the talking. It is an honor for you to meet me. I mean, you, me, to meet you, Miss Gears. Hi. <laughs> Hi. My, my. You're even more gorgeous in person than you are on the Hollow Agent Clank. I've got a few secrets of my own that uh, might need your special investigation. <laughs> uh, yes, um, <clears throat> I will report your concerns to the proper authorities. Oh, Agent Clank, you always know exactly what to say to a woman. You know... I'd do anything to play a part in one of your hollow films. That could be arranged, Miss Gears, if you are willing to provide information on the whereabouts of Dr. Nefarious. Dr. Nefarious? Hmm. You have been busy, haven't you? You just get me that part, and I'll tell you anything you want to know. Excellent. Meet me at Hollow Star Studios. We got Spark Vid Comic 3. I'll actually show that off right now. Hang on. We're gonna head back to the Phoenix. So, for the rest of this part, we're gonna head. We're first gonna head back to the Phoenix and play Vid Comic Episode 3. And then we're gonna head to, to Blackwater City before we end this part. We're gonna head back to the Phoenix and deal with that first. Right, we're gonna... I'm gonna hurry to walk through. I heard somebody has the latest vid comic in the Quark vs. Nefarious series. Would that somebody hurry up and finish it already? That's what I'm about to do. Oh, geez. Anyways. I'm gonna head back to the quarters and play vid comic 3. Anybody know what that big red button does? By the way, I forgot to bounce this out, but this helmet right here is the pilot helmet from Ratchet and Clank 1. Interesting Easter egg. Alright, so now we have Shadow of the Robots. Episode 3, Shadow of the Robot. 
For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination, a secret robotic laboratory on planet Magmos. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody... <coughs> Somebody order pizza? Quark's plan was flawless. But unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid, could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated, then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs> Time for the interactive circle focus. circle to fire my blaster. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming. I'll try to complete this closer. I'm not going to show off how to get all those parts open. Ow. Wait a minute. Uh, there's something down here. Yeah, there it is. This is where you find your health upgrade. There you go. Shadow of the Robot has to be one of the easiest to get 100 tokens in. Circle to fire my blaster. Hold yeah, I'm gonna interrupt that because we just heard that earlier. Go, be sure to go up here, red token. I'm about to die, but I don't personally care, but still. I'm just trying to complete this as quickly as possible. I think that, yeah, that's all the tokens I got there. Hurry. I'm gonna be trying to be careful not to take a hit here. Alright. And I died. Checkpoint right here. Got the red token, we're good. Alright. Jump, jump. Red token right here. I think there's another one coming up. There we go. And there's your 100 token. And that's the end of the stage. Thirty thousand, three hundred thousand volts. Damn, that's a lot of that's a lot of money. It's over, Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known. You're no match for the likes of me. <laughs> That's rich. I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included. Say, come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, no, of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class. Uh, I 
always hated biology. That's right. You were that freak with the headgear. Remember how you used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid old. I was always big for my age. You were 26. Say, how about a wedgie for old times' sake? I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. That's a perfect way to end on a cliffhanger, but that turned Dr. Nefarious into the way he is now. He is now a robot. But anyways, I think I'm going to cut off the part here, so we'll actually cover Blackwater City and Hollow Star Studios in the next part. Plus, let me, yeah, I think I already reached my ammo. Yeah, I already reached my ammo. Alright, so... Attention all crew members! You are required to attend... So next time on Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal, we'll be heading to Blackwater City, and then we'll be tackling all the Saw Studios as well. See you then.